Hi Libra, so welcome to your reading. All right guys, so I literally just got off of work, you guys. I'm still in my scrubs, but on the way home, I just got this urge to do you guys reading. So let's go ahead and see what comes out for you guys. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, let's see, message, it's message it's for my Libras. I'm also going to do you guys an extended, so if this message does resonate, the extended will be the first link in the description box. We'll go deeper into the connection. I'll go do a spread for your person and for your feelings, both you guys' feelings, and we'll clarify and pull some oracle. So let's see. What comes out for my Libras? Messages for my Libras. So coming out at the center of your reading, we have the seven of wands. All right. So feeling like you need to stand your ground about something. Feeling like you need to speak up about something. Feeling like you may need to block out some energies or feeling like you're having to... Um, fight for something that you believe in okay let's see the crossing energy we have the nine of cups some of you guys are focused on something that you really want to happen some type of wish fulfill, uh, fulfillment is here and you know that you're right you know that deep down inside you feel that this is supposed to happen so you're fighting for that, okay? The crossing energy, I mean, that was the crossing. At the foundation, we have the Nine of Wands. This is the warrior card. So you really have been fighting for something that you want to come to fruition. It, um, some of you guys are very vigilant right now. Some of you guys have your guard up. We're going to clarify these. We have fire sign energy, very strong, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio on the table. A lot of passion behind what you believe in. All right, in the recent past, look at that, the Two of Cups, okay, a reunion, a rekindle. Um, I just heard reunion and rekindle. So some of you guys have rekindled something from the past. Others of you guys, this is teamwork. Um, this is like, a, this is a partnership. This can be a soulmate connection that is coming out here. So something in love is coming out with the Two of Cups here. We'll clarify. In your thoughts, we have this strength card. This is Leo energy. This is actually the first major arcana that is coming out in your thoughts. It's kind of like you're thinking that you're maturing. You're coming to a space where you realize that you only can control your emotions, your feelings, your actions. You're coming to this place where you're at peace with yourself, okay? All parts of yourself. A lot of you guys have been doing a lot of healing. Some of you guys' intuition with that coming out in the thoughts in the crown. Some of you guys' intuition is on point right now. Your, your intuition is stronger for some reason right now. Could have to do with the eclipse that's coming up tomorrow, okay? All right, so in the near future, we have the karma karma card. This is the judgment card. This is about making decisions. This is about reaping what you sow. This is about what goes around, comes around. So we'll see what that's about. This is about making wise decisions. Okay. Hopes and fears. We have the queen of swords. There may be something that you need to cut off. There may be a conversation that's being avoided. Um, 
there may be some sharp, sharp conversation that is had with the Queen of Swords here where there's no holding back, especially with that Seven of Wands at the center. So definitely needing to watch your tone right now, how you talk to people, how you speak to people. Today may not be the best day. There could have been some arguments here external to the situation what is your person doing the six of swords your person is selling onto smoother waters they're letting go of something external to you you guys this situation so this has nothing to do with you most of the time this person could have been dealing with a third some of you were dealing with a third party situation not all of you guys this could be um about work different things there could be some traveling that your person is doing this is selling on to smoother waters walking away from something that do not serve them we'll see what that's about how is your person feeling to a swords they feel as though they have a decision to make okay how do you feel High Priestess, you're very, what did I say? Your intuition is on point right now. You've been connecting to your spiritual side, to your spiritual journey. A lot of you guys, again, intuition is on point. Your intuition is telling you something. Could be a Pisces involved. And we have overall outcome, the moon card. Okay, something coming to the surface, some type of confusion that um, something is about to be revealed. Something is about to make sense. Another Pisces card, another card of intuition. This could be secrets. Let's see what that is. All right, so let's go through and clarify these. All right, so coming out with the Seven of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles right away. Seven, seven is coming out. That day could be significant to some of you guys, okay? Um, also advise you to look up angel number seven, seven. So um, whatever it is, what did I say? You've been fighting for something and it's like you're waiting for uh, something to pay off. You're waiting for it to pay off, okay? Um, with the Seven of Wands here and the Seven of Pentacles, you feel like you've put a lot of work into this. Some of you have a lot of history with this. If this is a person, you have a lot of history with this person. If this is a job, you have a lot of history at that job, okay? You've been putting work into something and you're really, really passionate about it and you're really, really standing up for how you feel about something and you're really, really standing up for the fact that you're hoping that something comes uh, comes of this uh, uh, situation. Oh, I can't talk today. All right. So the crossing energy, we have the nine of cups and we have the six of pentacles. So some of you guys are hoping for this equal give and take of energy from somebody. You're hoping that something shifts to where um, you're receiving it, the same that you're putting into this connection. Some of you guys are hoping that a dream pays off for you with that six of pentacles there. That some type of financial gain comes from that. Others of you guys are hoping that there's a connection here that becomes balanced and you really want it to become balanced because you feel like you fought for this connection. You feel like you've stood up for this connection. You feel like you've been given to this connection and now you're ready to receive. All right, so at the foundation, we have the nine of wands and the four of wands. Some of you are about to buy a house your bill, or you're building a house. Um, some of you guys, this is really, really wanting stability and being very protective over where you lay your head at night. Like your home is very important to you. Some of you guys, the 1111 portal was very significant to your relationship. And I also feel as though 
some of you guys are building some type of stability here um, with somebody, okay? I feel like someone is very protective of their home, very protective of what they have accomplished, very protective of what they have built so far. And so it's like you're, you're, you're being protective over the things that you have built, okay? You're being protective over the things that you have created. All right, so the two of cups in the recent past is coming out with the 10 of swords. So look at that. There's been some hurt here. There's been some betrayals here, particularly in love. There's been the feeling of being stabbed in the back. For some of you guys, you found out some type of information and it crushed you, okay? For others of you guys, you put a lot of work into a connection where there's been some betrayals, there's been some hurt, there's been some ups and downs um, with this connection. But for some reason, I'm being guided towards this owl. You come out wiser, Okay, because you know what not to deal with. And I feel like you're setting up boundaries. This is the reason why your home life, where you lay your head at, is important to be peaceful to you. You're very protective over your energy and what you have built. Some of you guys have struggled, you know, recently struggled in love, but you're coming out of that energy. Okay, you're coming out of that energy of... um I just heard victim. So some of you guys are not going to be a victim to this. You're standing up. I feel like some of you guys have just dealt with multiple people over the past few years that have not been the best person for you. Others of you guys, you dealt with the connection where you put a lot of work into that connection and you continue to fight for that connection. And there has been a lot of pain, a lot of hurt a lot of betrayal within that connection. All right, so in the thoughts, we have the strength card. It makes a lot more sense now. You're trying to be mentally strong, okay? Because some of you guys, you're, um, there's a relationship that's on your mind with the high priest here. This is the Hierophant. So some of you guys with this Hierophant here, a lot of you guys have been... Um, just trying to keep your mind right, trying to keep your mind stable, um, trying to keep your mental capacity. Um, also, I feel as though some of you guys are seeking higher help as, as like a therapist or a life coach. Some of you guys are um, going within and you're seeking spiritual help. Okay, um, some of you guys are on this spiritual journey. We have the high priest and the high priestess here. And this is where I like to see the high priest or the high priestess because that's your intuition. That's your spiritual connection here. Some of you guys are connecting to your higher self, okay, for your answers. All right, so we have the judgment card and the page of wands. There's this energy of communication coming in. There's this energy of good news coming in, some type of good karma coming in for you, okay, with, with this coming out. Um, some type of conversation that a passionate conversation could be coming in in your near future, okay? We're going to clarify these and the extend it further, but there's some type of good karma for most of you guys coming back around, some type of good news, some type of invitation that you've wait, been waiting for, some type of um, some type of good news, some type of good conversation, some type of passionate conversation. And it feels like something that you've been putting work into, you're finally about to get something out of it that you wanted to hear. Okay. All right. Hopes and fears. So we have the queen of swords and look at that. The lovers. I feel like there's someone who's um, afraid to speak their truth. I feel like there's someone who's very cold right now. I feel like there's someone that you might be contemplating cutting off. Um, 
there's someone that's coming out here that has a decision between two people and it could be your person because the two of swords is here whoever this is external they're walking away from that situation as that's what it seems like okay because we have the this does feel like a soulmate with the lovers and the two of cups here external to the situation if there is a third party situation they want to walk away because the six of swords is coming out in that position it's also coming out with the king of wands this is a very good looking masculine energy okay um a very creative i feel like they have their power back from a situation external to you guys it'll be different for everyone but some of you guys are definitely dealing with third party situations with this lovers coming out right up under here and with the two of swords here as your person has a decision to make some of you guys this is work for this person this person may be self-employed this person may travel a lot this person may be at a distance from you so travel gets in the way all right your person has a decision to make about the three of pentacles so again some of you guys are dealing with um third party situations others of you guys this is about work this is about their craft this is about what they do for a living they're really good at what they do for a living okay and it may require them to travel others of you guys this person is trying to make a decision on what they who and what they want to put their uh, work into put work into put energy into who do i want to they have options because they have a decision to make so some of you guys are in third parties especially with this three of pentacles here um there could definitely be some third party energy coming out others of you guys this is about work and this is about their craft this is about what they do for a living high priestess is here is how you feel in the page of cups so i do feel like you feel like there's some type of communication some type of you need to hear something from this person um some of you guys are trying to think if you want to accept an apology from this person and what will be the next steps you're really listening to your intuition about this person um um, particularly I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with children some of you guys may have children with this person but some of you guys your mind is just on your kids your mind is on your household because that's coming out others of you guys again there's some type of communication that you feel needs to be had and I do see communication here overall outcome we have the moon card and look at that is coming out with the um eight of cups this is turning your back on a situation or somebody turning their back on a situation this is walking away um someone secretly wants to walk away something is about to shift and change you don't have all of the information and it's meant to be that way okay so we'll dip, dive deeper into this because i do see your person walking away from something but i also see that you may be um, making some shifts making some changes you may be walking away from something uh could be a pisces all right, so there's some secrets here. There's something that's about to be exposed. There's something that's about to be shaken up. We're going to see what that is. We're going to clarify each of these in the extended reading. I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to also pull um, some Oracle cards for you guys. All right, so let's see what the next two cards is. Some of you are coming to some type of stability with this Six of Cups energy. This is all about the past person. Some of you guys are coming to some type of stability with the past person. And it's coming out. There's a lot of action coming towards you too. So we'll see what that is about. All right, so let's go ahead and get some Romance Angel cards for you guys. And then we'll move into the Extended. messages for my Libras messages for my Libras
what is my Libra's need to know? Two cards coming out. We have healing family issues and we have a wedding. So some of you guys with that hair font there, there's definitely a marriage involved. Okay, it, it, it's coming out. Some of you, again, you have fa a family with this person, a household with this person. Um, others of you guys, there's a marriage involved and there could be a family involved also. Let's see, let's get We have true love here. I feel like someone is making, I feel like your person is going to tr choose true love. I feel like um, with the with the lover's card here and the two of cups here, there is a lot of love here, okay? All right, guys, what's on the bottom of the deck? There's also a lot of passion here. Some of you guys are wanting this because, because you, with that, those wands coming out, remember I said there's a lot of passion here. You feel like this is your match. You feel like intuitively something is telling you that this is your true love. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the extended reading. All right, Libra, those are your messages.